This is probably the best $18 you can spend today. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. Now, normally I would start off a review video with the specs on a product, but I wanted you guys to be able to see the way this little thing performs and it's pretty incredible. It is absolutely pitch black out here right now, except for that street light right back there that's about uh, roughly 60 yards away, but it's as dark as I can make it in my backyard. And what we're taking a look at today is this new little bulb by Olight. Now, I've been a Olight fan for a long time now. This is on the very lowest setting that you've got, and it would give me absolutely plenty of light sitting here if I wanted to jot down some notes on a notepad. Now, the other thing about it, and it's got several modes, and we'll go over some more of those features here in a minute, but I just wanted you guys to really see the way this looks. Uh, I'm sorry, the way it works. Now, I'm going to press and hold the little button on the bottom, and you'll see the light starting to get brighter. Now, it's at its max setting, and I've got it sitting down below me at about arm's length away, right uh, as if I was pulled up to this table that's sitting here, going to write some notes down. And you can see that it is absolutely plenty of light to get it done. Now, the other thing is, if you don't want it to be that white light at night, a single click of the button will turn it red. And if you press and hold once you're in that mode, it will get brighter or dimmer depending on uh, which way it's going. So right now it's at its max setting. If I press and hold it again, it's going to come all the way back down to the low mode. And that's what makes this just really, really cool. Even in that lowest mode, you can barely see that probably glowing on my face right now, but it is still plenty of light for me to write on a notepad and not kill my night vision. Now you're taking a look at the table that's right in front of me with the bulb here, got a notepad and then my HT radio behind me. And this is the Sphere C on its absolute lowest setting for white light. Let's go ahead and run that thing up so it's bright. And I believe that is its max setting and you can see how much light that little guy is putting out. Now again, we'll cover all the lumens and specs and things like that here in a minute. They also have an app on your phone that you can control this with. But I really appreciate the fact that I don't have to have a app in order to control it. Now there's the red light on the lowest setting and you can see that that is still plenty to be able to write right here with just that little bit of light. I'll go ahead and press and hold that bottom button though again and that is I believe right there it's max setting. And the max setting honestly if I was trying to preserve my night vision is just a little bit too much with the even the red light when it's on max. Okay, so let's talk for just a minute about some of the specs of the Sphere C. You're looking at the front of it right there. If we rotate it on around just a little bit further, you will see the USB-C connector. Now, they do make this in two different types. Uh, one of them takes their proprietary magnetic charging base, and the other one that I've got in my hands today is the USB-C. And I like this so that I can basically recharge it with uh, whatever cable I have laying around. Don't have to worry about that proprietary connector. Now, speaking of the magnetic bottom, this is also where the button is that you would press to turn that light on or off. Notice when it goes off, it flashed green. That is a battery indicator. If it flashes green, it is somewhere between 50 and 100% charged. If it flashes yellow, then it is somewhere between 10 and 49% charged. And if it flashes red at you when you turn it off, then it is less than 10% charged. You definitely want to get that thing recharged at that point. Also, when you plug this thing up to a charger, it will turn red, indicating that it's charging. And when it's fully charged, it will then turn green for you. So very good visual indicators as to uh, what the state of this thing is. I really like that about this fear. Now, this includes a 700 milliamp hour battery and it's IP56 rated. If you've got this thing on the max output on the white light, that is roughly 75 lumens. 
and it will last for approximately 100 minutes at that rating. If you've got it on its lowest setting, that puts out one lumen and that will run for approximately 40 hours. Now, if we're talking about the red light setting, the lowest output on it is 0.5 lumens. That's going to run for about 22 hours. Max out output on that is 11 lumens, and that's going to run for approximately 200 minutes. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, you do get a app that you can use with the light. The nice thing about the app is you do not have to sign up for an account in order to be able to use it. You can bypass that. They do offer it if you want to create an account. Another cool thing about the app is you can control individual lights, or if you look right here, you can see that we've got grouped option as well. So you can group multiples of these together. Let's go ahead and click on that uh, one for the sphere C right now. And you will see all of the different controls that we have in here. It gives us the battery indication up here in the top left. Tells us approximately how much runtime is left. We get an on off switch. We get several different modes here. We can control the brightness or the dimness of the light right here with just this little slider switch. And you'll notice if I crank this all the way up, takes it a second, but now it tells me that that's going to run for approximately four hours. Uh, if we dim that back down, you should see that drop uh, or jump back up for us. You can change the light, so there's the red mode. We also have the ability to turn that down. It does have a flashing red if that's something you're interested in. And then you can change that using the color wheel option right here. Also, we get uh, several different settings. Now, I'm not sure how well these are going to show up on camera, but we can do things like uh, butterfly right here. Let's see if I can maybe get that camera to dim down just a little bit. There we go. And you can kind of get a little bit of an idea. There's blue. There's a sunset version. And we've got several other different things. The primary one, though, that I am interested in is the white and the red light. Now, Olight was kind enough to give us a coupon code where you guys can save 10%. I will leave a link and the code down in the description. They did send me this for a video review, but after I've got it in my hands, well, they only cost me money because I think I'm going to buy four or five more of these. I like these to go in a few of my bags, and I want two or three of these in the RV when we're out and about. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.